Hi everybody! Today we are going to test a low-cost graphics adapter from Asus on the basis of GeForce JT740. The version of JT740 which we have tested before had 2GB of DDR3 memory. Implementation of this memory type had a substantial effect on the overall performance although it did not allow to employ the facilities of the graphics core to a full extent. The hero of this review is already equipped with a faster GDR5 memory. It costs about $112 and can fairly claim to be incorporated in a low-cost gaming computer. Of course, we are not considering support for 4K Ultra HD monitors, although it can easily cope with resolution of 720 pixels and supposedly even with Full HD. The card is supplied in a compact cardboard packaging with a fine informative content. The sales package includes a set of documentation and a CD with software and drivers. This is a standard set for the models in this price range. Moreover, other accessories are not required. Asus GeForce JT740 is made on a printed circuit board with a height of 112 mm. It has fairly compact dimensions, which extends its compatibility with different cases. The graphics core power subsystem implements a three-phase circuit, two for the GPU and one for the memory chips. The reverse side of the board has several elements of the power subsystem, stickers with specifications and mounting screws of the cooling system. One of them is covered with a protective seal that prevents the cooler removal without losing the warranty. NVIDIA SLI bridge is not available as there is no support for this technology. An additional 6-pin PCIe power supply slot is not available too, although it is claimed in the reference version. The solution is quite reasonable as a 64W video card will do enough with a power supply of 75W, which can be provided by PCI Express 3.0 slot. The model is based on 28nm NVIDIA JK107 graphics chip. It includes 384 CUDA cores, 32 texture units and 16 rasterization units. The GPU clock frequency makes 1033 MHz in nominal mode, which is by 40 MHz higher than the reference value. The video card memory is assembled by means of four GDR5 Samsung chips. Their effective operating frequency is 5000 MHz. Data exchange between the graphics processor and memory is carried out through a 128-bit bus with a bandwidth of 80 GB per second. We would like you to remind that a similar version of the video card with DDR3 memory has a 128-bit bus bandwidth of just over 21 GB per second. The interface panel includes the following set of connectors. It allows you connecting almost any modern digital monitors, a TV set or an analog display unit without any adapters. Asus GeForce JT740 is equipped with an active cooling system based on a single XL fan. Its design protects the device against dust penetration that ensures a 25% longer service life as compared to standard models. A simple aluminium radiator is used for the heat removal and dissipation, which is made in golden colors. Firstly, we tested the cooler efficiency in automatic mode, in which its blades rotated at a speed of 1620 rounds per minute. In this case, the graphics core heated up to 62 degrees and the fan was working at 34% of its maximum power. The card operation was quiet without overheating, its noise level didn't cause any discomfort and it was showing a stable FPS as well. In idle mode, the cooler began to work quietly, spinning at 25% of its maximum rating. The GPU temperature did not exceed 32 degrees. With regard to the functionalities, this cooling system has a fairly advantageous position as compared to other models. Combination of the showy radiator and the relatively large fan that operates at a low speed automatic mode promotes excess heat dissipation at a comfortable noise level in automatic mode. ISOS GeForce JT740 has a lot of competitors within $100 price range. We are considering integrated graphics cores, as well as various discrete graphics cards with GDR3 and GDR5 memory. The integrated graphics Intel HD Graphics 4600 of processor i7-4770K was behind by an average of 55%. A similar trend, although with a slighter lag of 41% on average, was showed by Core AMD Radeon R7 graphics of APU i10-7800. 
As you can see, the combination of GPU, NVIDIA JK107 and GDR5 memory ensures a secure skipping of integrated graphics adapters. Now, let's analyze the alignment of forces within the model line from NVIDIA Corporation. JT740 with GDR3 memory is behind the hero of the review by almost 38% on average. And it's all due to the implementation of GDR5 memory. In its turn, NVIDIA GeForce JT730 with 2GB of DDR5 memory is behind by 24% on average, mainly due to the implementation of greater number of rasterization units, 16 vs 8, as well as a 128-bit data exchange bus instead of 64-bit, and the higher GPU frequency, 1033 vs 902 MHz. The final point was the opposition to NVIDIA GeForce JTX 750, which was ahead by 95% on average due to the usage of NVIDIA Maxwell microarchitecture and 512 CUDA cores. If it turned out to be significantly more expensive, then GeForce JT 740 would do well in its price range, but the gap between them does not exceed even $10. AMD Radeon R7-50 was chosen among the competitors' graphics card. The version with GDR3 memory conceded Asus JT740 by 30% on average, and the version with the same capacity of GDR5 memory was ahead by an average of 18%. Besides, its cost is about $15 less. That is, it is time for NVIDIA to reduce the cost of GeForce JT740 to be more competitive. In general, the tested graphics accelerator can cope with the medium graphic settings in modern games at a resolution of 720 pixels or with low ones at Full HD. The overclocking was performed by means of ASUS GPU Tweak 2 program, which allowed raising the voltage from nominal 1062 to 1137 millivolts. Due to this, the nominal GPU frequency was increased from 1033 to 1179 MHz. The gain made 14.1% with regard to the default settings, or 18.7% as compared with the reference value. The video memory frequency was increased from 1250 to 1455 MHz to obtain greater operating speed, an increase of 16.4%. During the overclocking, the speed of the cooling system fan was fixed at the maximum, while the GPU temperature did not exceed 53 degrees. The whole system consumed 184 watts in nominal mode and 200 watts during the overclocking stress tests. The processing speed increased by an average of 15%, which is quite a good figure and allows to raise the speed by a few FPS in many games. And now let's summarize and consider if ASUS GeForce JT740 is successful and advantageous in its price segment. First of all, we would like to specify the reliable brand element base, super alloy power and the efficient cooling system that copes with its direct functions. It's worth mentioning that in the automatic mode it keeps the GPU temperature at 62 degrees, while the fan rotates only by 34% of its maximum rate. And in case of a standard overclocking, the cooler is quite efficient to keep the GPU temperature within the safe limits. Most of the performance growth is ensured by the GPU factory overclocking and by 2GB of GDR5 video memory. Due to this point, the lack of models based on JT740 with GDR3 memory and other low-end adapters from the internal model line is estimated in 10%. And if we consider this advantage in relation to specific applications, then ASUS JT740 can comfortably play many modern games with low graphic settings at Full HD resolution. However, the main trouble for all the video cards from JT740 series with GDR5 memory is that the cost of much more powerful NVIDIA GeForce JTX 750 has decreased approximately up to $116. And this is less than a $10 gap in relation to the performance margin of 90%. Moreover, the main competitor applied the dual efforts and reduced the price of video cards AMD Radeon R7-50 with GDR5 memory up to $96, although it is ahead of JT740 by an average of more than 17%. In other words, to make the competition more efficient, it is high time for the solutions on the basis of JT740 to meet a $90 price range and then it would have been a fairly recommended card by all the features. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.